And you have the identity badge. Yes. And you'll call me if you need anything. Yes. And you understand the situation in the room? Yes, Mr. Tetch. I got everything you gave me. And everything I need. And even your phone number. Now you can go. Leave me alone. Bye. Jeez. Oh, man. <sighs> You're Dr. Tarek. Oh, God! Definitely dead, Dr. Tarek. Jeez, Doc. You really made a mess of things, huh? Um. So what do you think, Doc? We give me half an hour to look busy, then call the day with you? You get to keep being dead, and I get to have lunch at a normal time. Maybe even have lunch with Carol. Sounds good? Jeez. Oh, this week has been long. The 3D recording started. This is Detective Clark. I'm at the crime scene at Elevated Engineering, involving a doctor. <coughs> um, <coughs> Archibald? Uh, Tarek, as a victim, believed to be a homicide. Dr. Tarek was the project leader of aerospace development. The time now is 11.25 a.m. All right, Doc. What happened to you? If... They came in from, well... They Going came. from the evidence on site. Um, Someone broke into the room and killed me. Um, oh, I apologize, Detective. Geez. I assume they had informed oh. you of my systems. Uh, yeah. Something about doctor's memories being backed up. Something, oh, something, something. Whew. Shit. Correct. Huh. As of 2074 with the Project Information Archive Act... All these hey, man, I, I really don't on need a all... weekly basis. Okay, in the event of leaving suddenly, or in this case, an untimely death. <sighs> that way their projects can continue on with a new leader, undisturbed and with no major setbacks. A more efficient okay. manner of any advanced science and their practice okay. of logging every minute detail so things will always move forward. Oh, hey, are you finished? Maybe this will make things easier. Um, who killed you? I do not know. I am just a simulation of the memories of Dr. Tarek from the last time he backed them up. Last Friday afternoon. Wait, why, why Friday afternoon? Why isn't this done every day? It is a very trying procedure. It drains a person of their physical and mental energy. In order to ensure that the best work for the company is still being done, the balance point has been studied and set at once per week. Friday afternoon to make sure that their working hours are not interrupted by the loss of energy. Jeez. Their weekends can be spent resting and recuperating. Then they can come back to work on Monday with the energy and focus for another week. I uh, well. Do you have access to the camera feeds in the room so we can see who killed the doctor? There are no cameras in offices. Uh, Most of the rest of the campus is covered in cameras, yeah. but designated personal spaces are off limits, per law. Uh, I guess that makes sense. All right, well, you have an audio input to hear me. Did you hear what happened last night? I switched off the audio sensors yesterday afternoon, as I typically do. One of me is enough. The world and this company don't need two. Of course. That would have been too easy. All right, well, who do you think would have killed you? I'm sorry, Detective. I cannot guess. I am just data. My responses are limited. You must ask the right questions. All right. We're clearly not getting anywhere with this idea. I'm just going to go back to investigating. Shit. Only two minutes.
Doesn't look like there was a goodbye note or anything of the sort. Why would there be, if the largest likelihood is that this was a murder? All right. I don't need you answering rhetorical questions. I got this. You got a silent mode or something? No, Detective, but I can set to be only activated if prompted from the company tablet. Company tablet. Um. Oh, uh, you mean this one? Yes. All right, well, let's do that. Just let me do my job in peace. As you wish, Detective. All right. Good. So, homicide. We got a dead doctor splayed in the corner of the floor holding a, a some kind of tool for testing, I guess. A smashed in window. Uh, rope indentations around his neck. But no actual rope around here. Which means the killer must have taken the weapon with them when they left. Smashed in from the outside. So the killer got to the window, saw the doc in his office. They smash in the window. The doc tries to run. The assailant <sighs> Catches up with the doc, wraps a rope around his neck. A struggle ensues. Doc hits the tables. Papers get thrown everywhere. Doc grabs something to try to defend himself. But by then it's already too late. The doc wasn't a young man to begin with, and what little energy he had is draining fast. As the doc starts to drift, the assailant would have cinched the rope tighter and tighter. There was nothing left in the dock. He went unconscious, and the assailant kept the rope cinched long enough to make sure that he was dead and gone. They dropped Doc's body, then leave the way they came in. Ah, uh, yeah, that sounds plausible. Hey, and only five minutes in. I guess we can just... Well, they might ask. Hey, Doc's, um... Memories? Oh, uh, yeah. If it would make you more comfortable, Detective, you may address me simply as Dr. Tarek. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably not. Um, were you just listening to my assessment of the situation? I did process it, yes. Would you say that's a valid theory? Valid? Perhaps. Okay, good, good. Um, do you have an inventory memory of what was in the room so we can know if anything was taken? Many papers that would be too many for you to count in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, yeah, beyond that, I don't think the killer would have been interested in paperwork. In my possession, the last time my memories were backed up was yeah. my security badge, calling tool, document digitizer, um, calibration uh, wait, module, no, you gotta and the company provided tablet you're using now. Okay, uh... Okay, uh, well, what about the, the calling thingy? Um, the calling tool? Yeah, I, I don't see that here. Oh, wait. All right, yeah. The doc has it in his hand. All right, so everything's accounted for. Ah. Hey, Doc, you said there was a tablet? Yes, the one you are using to interact with me. Uh, yeah, got it. Um, There's a second tablet here. Second tablet? Uh, yeah, here on one of the desks. That's strange. The company only allows one tablet for each employee. 
I did not own a personal one. Uh, well, it's etched with the company name. It needs a three-digit pin to unlock. I would suppose you might have an idea where... A locked it. tablet? That okay, should raise major no. flags with our technology department. That is against company policy. Section 243.5... Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I really don't need that. Um, better answer. What is this tablet? I'm sorry, Detective. My responses are limited. You must ask the right questions. Right questions. Right. I think we're done with this line of thought for now. Pin. Pin. Lives taken. Lives lost. Upcoming projects. Focus. Look at this again. The killer gets in the room, chokes out the doc, takes nothing, leaves the tablet, then leaves the way they came in. The inspector is going to ask what they were here for. Just to kill him? Judging by the looks of this place, I don't think the doctor got out much. So the likelihood of making enemies is pretty close to zero. Enemies within the company? That would explain why the tablet is etched with the company name. But if that were true, they would have just walked in through the front door. Why did the doc take the tool he did to try to defend himself? Was there any reasoning behind it, or was it just a blind act of desperation? He was being attacked, so it should probably be the latter. But these areas are all marked with the tools inside them. All three of them were on this desk. The first two are exactly where they're supposed to be. They're not out of position at all. And the third one, the one the doc has in his hand, is the one furthest back. If it truly was desperation, he would have grabbed the closest thing. What were you trying to tell us, doc? Or... Oh, no. How was the doctor in regards to his organization? Immaculate. I always said an organized desk is an easy desk. Okay, so he wouldn't have papers just thrown everywhere. Uh, some of them off the tables or falling off? Heavens, no. That would be terrible. How would I find anything? Okay, so that does back up the idea of a struggle. What about the window? What about it? Uh, it's smashed in, so someone had to come in from the outside. What floor is this? The 112th. That's a long way to climb up. Too long. 112. Damn! I was so sure. Oh, good. Only two attempts left. All right, no luck. So, 112th floor. Winds at this height would be blowing anyone climbing the building right off the side of it. And there's another 98 floors above us, so climbing down seems equally absurd. Um, 
If they used... Are you looking for a way in, detective? Uh... Yeah, you know of one? There's always the window cleaners. Their rig would always hit my area about 2.30 p.m. I often hated their squeaky interruptions. Okay. Window cleaner rig, that's great. The rig needs a key. And the only ones who would have access to it would be the cleaners themselves. That narrows down suspects. You said the window is smashed in. I did. And you think the window cleaners may have done it. Well, when you put it like that... But that seems almost impossible. What do you mean? Those windows aren't just normal glass. They're strengthened and tempered. A whole flock of geese flying at top speed and hitting it would not even put a crack into it. Damn! You're right. Yet it's here, smashed in front of me like it was nothing. Okay. Ah. Look at this again. The window cleaners or someone who could get access to the rig and key take the rig down to this floor. They use some equipment to smash the window in, catch up with the dock, choke him out, then take the rig back up and leave the way they came in. Shit. That would require going through the building. There are cameras everywhere, which means there would be video. The company reps said they have nothing. Which means in order for this theory to work, it must be someone on the inside. Shit! Whoever owned this second tablet. It's been tampered with. Why would you remove the chip? Tampered? Uh, yeah, the communication chip has been removed. That is the piece that connects to the company's network. Yeah, I, I know what the location of it at all it's times. Gonna go. A locked tablet would send a notification to the technology team, and they would apprehend the device immediately. That must be why that hasn't happened. The device is not visible on the network. Wait, Doc's memories, do you have access to the company network? I do. If I read the number off this thing, would you be able to tell me who in the company this tablet belonged to? Certainly. Okay. Uh, 1394. That tablet belonged to a Jacob Fours. <laughs> All right, there's our murderer. That would not be possible, Detective. How's that? Jacob Fors is dead. He died four days ago, Sunday evening. And I only died last night. Of course. Wait. Why weren't we notified of another death in the building? You were. But that death was obviously and professionally determined to be self-inflicted. The 14th in the last three months in this company. Sheesh. The 26th of the past year. <laughs> oh, yeah. The chief... Said he'd bring a top-to-bottom investigation in the company, and they didn't get their shit straightened out. Okay, so this belonged to Jacob Force. Does the company have a record as to when it was last connected to the network? Let me check, Detective. Okay. Sunday evening, 11.38 p.m. Twelve minutes after Mr. Force took his life in a... public manner. Jeez. Using rope. Okay, so Fors offs himself. Um, medical teams are brought in? By the location data of the tablets, I can tell you all who were there. Okay. Three late shift employees, Daniel, Teresa, Richard. All right. An on-site medical officer, Harold. Good. An executive member, Witt, Second. and myself. Wait, you were there? That does make some sense. Fors was a member of my team. Low level though he may have been, company policy would dictate that I would be notified of his passing. I must have felt it was necessary to be there. Focus. Okay. So the tablet location data. Where was it moved? Ten minutes after time of death, the tablet moved. To a closet near there. Then the connection to the company network was lost. Were there any other tablet markers in the room with it? No. It moved alone. All of the other tablet markers stayed where they were. Got it. Okay. So whoever took this tablet wasn't with the company. But what would they do with it? I'm sorry, Detective. My responses are limited. You must ask the right question. Uh, yeah, right. Sorry. Um, 
You can go back to sleep. Okay, so the killer gets in the room with the tablet. Um, maybe they were trying to show Doc something? Doc runs. Killer strangles. Uh, Doc grabs the tool trying to fight back. But no actual blood left behind. Which means the doc must not have been very successful in the attack. Okay. Doc is killed. Killer leaves. But getting the stolen tablet. Or. Maybe they left it here intentionally? This is. Coming apart. See this? Seems relatively sharp. So the doc should have been able to get in a few stabs before his death. Wait. This thing is ridged. If the doc was holding this when the attack happened, when he was killed, his hand would have been clamped on it. Yet there's no imprint. Oh, no. This scene has been altered. The doc wasn't holding this when the attack happened. Which is why the furthest tool was taken and the others in front of it were unmoved. But why change that? Why stop there? What else did you change? Doc's memories are your tools always where you have marked. Whenever I wasn't using them, they were always placed back in the marked areas for them. Organization is top priority. Okay, so those probably weren't changed otherwise. The papers are all thrown everywhere. Yet this bin was left untouched? There's no way that's how it should be. There are definitely shoe marks on the bin. Means it was probably kicked about or over in the scuffle. <laughs> Should have noticed it's empty. Probably it wasn't an entirely different place. It is empty? Uh, yeah. That is strange. There was certainly rubbish in there when I backed up my memories last Friday afternoon. The cleaners come through every Friday morning, so there should still be something in there. Unless it was altered. Um, false bottom? Uh... What the hell am I doing? It's a trash bin! Ah! Wait, Doc. What was in the bin? A few things. Scraps of ripped paper. A note to myself to contact Carol Jean again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Carol Jean, the technology officer for the precinct? She did mention some sort of job for the precinct. <laughs> you knew Carol Jean? Yes. She's a friend of mine, but she never met... No. She did. You were the family friend she's mentioned before. She said she knew an engineer. Um, I never got the name. Uh, 
I admittedly didn't really care at the time. <sighs> Holy shit. What did she say about me? Why? One never really knows how one is viewed behind their backs. This may be a chance to know. Oh, well, um, she thought very highly of you. Uh, she said she had gone through a number of hard times throughout her life. Rough childhood, rough for teen years, and an aimless early adulthood. She said you were always there to help out, to guide her. She said you were a very kind and caring man. Compassionate is the word she used. Very positive sentiments. Uh, I wasn't yeah. sure if our friendship was still as strong as it was. I had steered her away from taking a job here. Uh, something she wasn't happy to not have my support on. Why? Terrible work conditions. Yeah, I can get that impression. Man, never imagined this. All right, Doc. Let's figure this out. You said there were a number of things in the bin. Anything else? The only thing remaining were just some crumpled up failed drawings and such. All right, well, they're not here now. All the papers are clean. Why would the killer want those? Did they really want paperwork? What were they trying to... The company deaths. There was something about them in them. Here. Printed articles. Print date has them at yesterday afternoon. Self-inflicted tragedy. Another worker gone. Bodies pile up. Fourteen in total. Others? Nine dead in submarine accident. Twelve in plane crash. Two hundred thirteen gone in rocket explosion. What were you putting together, Doc? Detective? Those are all industries elevated engineering deals in, and the last one was mine. Wait, do you think these accidents and deaths are all related to your company? I'm sorry, Detective. My responses are limited. You must ask the right question. Do you know if they are related to your company? No, I did not. Okay. Though I had questions of the deaths inside the company. Okay. 213. Yes! All right, now we're in business. Text files, video. The names of these. Text evidence 1. Drawing evidence 3. News evidence 12. Video evidence 1. The only one. Evidence to what? These files, the system says Tarek authored them all on another device, then transferred to this one. This one doesn't mention any evidence. Text file, I'm sorry. It's been difficult to keep my head straight. So much has happened in such little time, but I need to try to get a timeline together. Saturday evening, I was brought into the... Executive boardroom under a rush call. A large customer was asking for us to certify equipment ASAP. Certify without testing. So that they could get into the production immediately. I brought up how unusual and unethical that request is. The executives explained they felt I was ready to join the upper echelons of the company. With it would come a hefty bonus and a larger income, but it would require my certification without testing. They assured me it was fine. These pieces are always tested at least once by another company before they arrive here. They must pass the other company's testing in order to make it this far into the process. They explained this is a fairly common request. One they do all the time. All of the executives present and only me. 
My mind wandered to the deaths within the company. Self-inflicted or made to look like that. I was on their turf. And despite my tired state from the memory backup, I knew fully what they were asking of me. I believe they were hoping that I wasn't. I agreed, knowing full well I was not going to keep this secret, but how could I expose them? It was my word against theirs, and I'm not foolish enough to think I'm the first person to disagree. But after that meeting, eyes everywhere, watching my every movement. Then the next evening, Jacob killed himself. Or did they cause this? I was notified. I was not surprised. This was not the first of my team to do so. The company does run everyone too hard. 15 or 18 hour shifts. But even after all the deaths, threats from the police, instead of changing their practices, they continue to hire people they know can't afford to quit. And once they're in, they threaten their jobs if they don't accept the ridiculous hours. No wonder it's driven so many who are already close to it over the edge. But now, I saw an opportunity and needed to act fast. I'm sorry, Jacob. I needed something and I didn't give your body the respect it deserved. I can only hope when I go, mine is given more. End of the file. That explained nothing! Well, it did explain. Doc is the one who took this tablet. This was the thing he needed. Otherwise, it would just be his word against theirs. He couldn't gather evidence on his own company tablet, visible to the network. But with Fors dead and all eyes on that, he took the tablet. left his own so the location marker would still be there took it to the closet and removed the communication chip after that no one would have questioned his presence anywhere else it was just another company tablet to anyone else he dumped all of his research on it his notes of what they were doing what they were asking him to do news stories almost certainly connected to the false certifications and a video. A video he took of them asking him to falsify data for them. But they did notice the tablet, or at least question his presence, didn't they? That's why he's dead. That's why someone within the company killed him. They altered the scene, took the drawings, moved the bin, they took the rope, used to Oh, no. Shit! We've been looking at this all wrong. That document was supposed to be a timeline of the events. And yet it was such a mess. It wasn't a timeline, even if that's what his intention started as. What it was, was a clear picture of the Doc's state of mind. We were all under the impression that this was a homicide. But why? Because the company reps had told us so. Doc's memories... You said you turned off the audio sensors yesterday afternoon. Who turned them back on? The executive staff, late this morning. They informed me of my death. And could you tell me, before they turned on the sensors, were there tablet markers in this room, and for how long? Or is there a video of the area outside of this room for the morning? I'm sorry, Detective. My responses are being limited. You must ask the right questions. Yeah, of course. 
But they couldn't hide this. The rope burns. If someone had murdered the doc, they would have cinched the rope tighter and tighter. There would be rope marks all around his neck. But there's only marks on the front of his neck. He... hanged himself. But how'd you do it, Doc? No, 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 no. This is the only way it adds up. It has to make sense. This is the only way everything... There are definitely shoe marks on the bin. It looks like someone tried to clean them off, but they're still there. They're not scuffs from a struggle. They're the soles of someone's shoes. Number 15. Doc was determined to bring them down. He put together all the evidence, the news stories of equipment failing, equipment certified by this company without testing, and that resulted in so many deaths. But with them just asking him to join the little board of falsification he knew they would be watching his every move through the cameras eyes everywhere there's no way to get his message out unless he did what so many others had already done at this company he probably felt somewhat responsible after learning about all this how much did he contribute to the internal system that drove so many people to take their own lives? And how much did he help them to cause so many external deaths? Considering his compassionate nature, it probably wasn't hard then to step off the bin. But Doc took his own life, trusting that the chief is, would keep his word about investigating the company top to bottom. And exposing them. Gave them every bit of evidence to do so. But he didn't bank on the executives finding his body. And doing whatever they could to cover it up. They found him first. Knowing what another self-inflicted death would mean. They altered the scene. They brought his body down and moved the rope. Threw papers around to make it look like a fight had happened. Then put the tool in his hand to further that idea. Ha! They would have access to the cleanest rig and key. They probably brought it down to this floor. Used some of their own in-house engineering equipment to smash the window in. It would have the power to do so without an issue. While they set the scene. They kept the audio sensors offline. They probably scrubbed any video from surrounding cameras for the morning. Everything to make it look like a murder. But it wasn't. And now we know. Well, we figured it out. But you were just compilation of his memories. You're not Dr. Tarek. So what do I do next? That, detective, is the right question. Come on, pick up. Mr. Tetch, I'm finishing up in here. I need you to meet me outside the office. We have a lot to discuss. Mm 
Sorry, Doc. Your body wasn't given any more respect than Forza's was. You deserve better. All of them did. Chief, I'm wrapping up the investigation of Elevated Engineering. Tell them to bring the whole squad down here. We're taking the entire executive team. 